on the 215 freeway near St. Rose Parkway where I can still smell that fresh aroma of new asphalt. It's rubberized asphalt that Clark County just finished laying down out here along the 215 freeway. Drivers have been getting cranky about all the lane restrictions. Uh, NDOT, the reason that the, the rubberized asphalt was selected for this project is because NDOT will take this over as soon as this, this project is complete. Um, you know, they're currently working on projects that were resurfaced over 15 years ago. It's part of NDOT's maintenance program. The county was referencing the I-11 project currently underway between the 215 freeway and Wagon Wheel Drive, where NDOT recently removed all the aging and crumbling rubberized asphalt pavement with eventual plans to replace it this fall after doing some significant repairs to the concrete pavement surface. But getting back to the 215 Beltway headaches, I did ask the county why they didn't keep three traffic lanes open during construction like they normally try to do. It, it's not feasible to keep three lanes because you have to allow the product to cure. Otherwise, it'll greatly reduce the, the lifespan of the product. The county sent me a statement regarding the unscheduled left lane closure that happened this week and was just reopened this morning saying, quote, there was a section of payment that didn't meet specifications and had to be removed and replaced. So think of it like warranty work only on a freeway. Now the county also told the cone zone they reopened all the westbound lanes around 815 this morning after my inquiry on why they were still closed. And even better news, they don't anticipate any major lane restrictions along the 215 going to and from Henderson, which means we now have four beautiful lanes of traffic each direction between St. Rose Parkway and Windmill Lane. I'm Ken Smith, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.